that. Uh, nom, 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 nom. Play around with. Hey, Becca. Hey. How are you doing? Okay. Are you worn out? I'm just cooling down. I got the fan. Bowl. It's actually going right on my bum. Oh, well, you're out of the way. Me and Biggie are chilling. You are, yes. So what have we just done today? You've got a new bookcase. Yes. So look, I have space again to buy more books. Oh, I actually don't have much space though. I already, look, I already have only five remaining shelves. We can always get another bookshelf from somewhere. Where? Where's it going to go? <laughs> I don't know. How many are in here now? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Thank you for coming to sit with me. Because our brains are more active during REM sleep than they are when we're awake. So it is a weird thing for me to film. We're watching Apt Pupil, which is based on a Stephen King novella. And the novella was better than the movie, but still. And I'm making dinner, aren't I? Yeah. So these are about to go in. These are my tarts. Say hello to my tarts with P puree. They're not fucking brilliant. See, praise. I can't help it. You deserve oh. praise. We deserve to be beaten with our food. Well, We're I'm watching praise. Disenchantment, which is, is made by the Simpsons guy, Matt Groening. You must leave our humble home. Get out and here's my tart. I burnt myself. I got melted hot sugar on me. Look, that's sugar. Yeah, focus. What did you do? I made, uh, it's vegan honeycomb. Oh. That's what I just got on my arm and which really, really hurt my arm. Because I burnt it and I'm making you uh, pancakes. Why did you burn it? Because I'm an idiot. So we've got the ice cream maker going, which may or may not work, but I'm going to try again. And then I have my pancakes, which I've burned a little bit, but Becca's weren't burned. See your filthy ripped up shoes. Those are Homemade ice cream. Out of focus. Back in focus again. All right, the honeycomb. And then we smash it up a bit. Oh, I'm making chili oil. It's been a cookery day. Okay, so I have finished reading Partners in Crime by Agatha Christie. So this is one of the Tommy and Tuppence books. I have kind of mixed feelings about this. A lot of people really hate the Tommy and Tuppence books. I don't think they're that bad. I would prefer to read Miss Marple. And to be honest, I'd prefer to read Poirot. And I think I prefer Poirot. Uh, I think I prefer Marple to Poirot. But Tommy and Tuppence are fine. I like the way this was, it was kind of uh, both a novel and a short story collection. So the kind of individual chapters were almost standalone short stories, but it also followed just the overall story as the two of them formed this detective agency. There was, uh, there was one that I did figure out because the, the question was how this person had managed to be in two places at the same time. So they confirmed both of the alibis that this person was there. So I was like, totally a twin. And I was correct, they, they were twins. But um, also another thing that's pretty good is that they keep referring to like classic detectives as they go through it. So for example, like Tommy will be like, oh today I'm going to be Hercule Poirot. Yes, my little gray cells. And then he's like, the next day he's like, I'm going to be Sherlock Holmes. So that was quite fun. Um, I did tab it out as though I was going to do a review. I think I am going to do a review of this, actually. Shall I? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a review of it. But it was a 3.5 out of 5. It was all right. And then I read Primo Levi, The Survivor. I'll read you the blurb. This is number 48 in the Penguin Mini Ones. From the writer who bore witness to the 20th century's darkest days, these verses of beauty and horror include the poem that inspired the title of his memoir, If This Is A Man. I guess I'll read you, I'll read you a poem so you can get a feel for his style. The Ghouls of Setimo. Bend on bend, year after year, the lords of the sky have come up river, along the banks, up from its turbulent mouths. They've forgotten backwash and salt water, shrewd, patient, hunting, greedy crabs. Above Crespino, Polisilla, Astiglia, oh god. The newborns more determined than the old. Beyond Lutzura, beyond wasted Viadana, bloated with our ignoble waste, fatter at every turn. 
They've explored Caorso's mists, the lazy tributaries between Cremona and Piacenza, born on the tepid breath of the Autostrada, shrieking their mournful brief salute. They've halted at the mouth of the Ticino, built nests under the bridge at Valenza, near mounds of tar and leftover polyethylene. They've sailed to nowhere, beyond Casale and Chivasso, fleeing the sea drawn on by our abundance. Now they drift restless over Settimo Torinese. Fast forgotten, they pick over our waste. April 9th, 1979. There we go. So yeah, it was all right. I, I, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed that kind of style of poetry and it was fun. And now I only have two more of these Penguin Mini Moderns left to read as well. That also means now I can start reading In Cold Blood, which is this week's buddy read. And I think there's about 12 of us doing it now. I, I know Lou G and Patrice Jones are both doing it, which is funny because we've both done a few buddy reads in the past. I think Todd's doing this, Todd the Librarian. I don't know, there are too many people for me to name them all. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get started. Hello, it's Tuesday, which means it's back to work. It's currently half past three in the afternoon and I am working on uh, a couple of articles for a client of mine called uh, George. That's all I'm going to say, but the articles are about HR trends, so human resources, and how your business can leverage software as a service in HR. So we're gonna work on that. I've got a massive backlog, to be honest, because um, because I took Friday off to travel to Tamworth and then Monday was a bank holiday here in the UK and I didn't do any work whereas like usually I just work all of the time and I'm trying now to have more of more of a structure so I want to only work during you know daytime hours and then not work in the evenings I'll, I'll do my booktube in the evenings or whatever so um, hopefully that just helps me to turn off in the evenings and over the weekends and stuff and actually get some rest I got I got this little pendant. It's like a little arrow heady thingy. It's very nice. Uh, I updated you on my reading yesterday, so I've, I'm now reading in cold blood. I'm about 35, 40 pages in. It's a bit slow so far, and at times I'm almost I'm almost wondering if I'm going to be able to do it. You know, I'm wondering whether I might potentially switch it out as my bedtime book, like I did with the passage by Justin Cronin. Just because it's so heavy going and I can't really, you know what I mean? I don't want to sit there and read it as my main book and read like 80 pages of it in a day. I'd rather dip in and out of it, I think. So I'm going to see how that goes. You know, I said I burnt myself yesterday. Let's get a better shot of this. There we go, there is my burn. Look at that. That's pretty bad. The blister on my thumb comes from putting the bookcases together and then the rest just burns from the honeycomb. But it's nice. So I've had I've had a bit of that to eat. I'll probably have some more in a bit. I'm gonna go for a walk in a bit as well. I'm gonna uh, I, I just want to start doing a, a week like a daily walk for a mile, a couple miles. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that in a minute too. All right, peace. Hot. All right, so it's 10 p.m. And uh, I'm very worn out. It's a bit of a mess in here, unfortunately. Uh, Becca gets home from work soon. I need to make some food, I guess. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? I went for a walk earlier, because I want to start doing it like a daily walk. So I went to Asda, and I did try and vlog a bit, but it, I failed. But anyway, I walked about four or five miles. So there's that. And uh, I'm going to try and go for a walk tomorrow as well and start going for a walk each day. Won't stay in focus for some reason. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Oh, actually, no, I do have an update. I'm not enjoying In Cold Blood very much. So I'm thinking about switching it to my bedroom book. And In which case, if I do that, then I'm going to start reading this, which is the Employee Experience Advantage by Jacob Morgan. And basically, I'm getting paid to write a summary of this. So, uh, I figure I'll read it first. I made, I made vegan egg mayo on toast. And we're watching Bindi's thing. What's it called? Bindi's boot camp, that's it. She's Steve Irwin's daughter. Not her, she's just a random kid. And her. They're all just random kids. Random Australian kids. Biggie. 
Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's watch Ozzy Man and Mozza. As it were. Ozzy Man reviews on YouTube. Um, maybe he's gone, well, I need to redeem my father. Boo, 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 boo. Maybe. He was maybe just attacking my journal. Like Look. Um, that's my journal, Biggie. Crazy. I mean, that's always an option. Yeah, that's 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 always a it's thing. It's literally, it's yeah. my diary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder if this kid's or this man's guidance counselor. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting biggies. What? A biggie. No, I was standing by the door. Wasn't I, biggie? He wants food. You want some food, biggie? Go on then. Yeah. Hello, this is the closest to cooking with Becca people are likely to get, I think. But uh, making a lasagna here. So at the moment, I'm just um, spreading some sheets. So I want to just try and make sure there's some nice coverage here, you see? That there is pesto. I'm going to show you how I've been layering this up. We move on to the tomato sauce. Mm. We just want a half on each of these two here. A bit of it like that there. Just spread it around. I'm not too worried about it being 100%. So we're going to put a few veggies in. Do you not need to cut them or are they going in straight like They're that? They're going in like that because the recipe told me to cut them and cook them like this. Oh. Okay. And then down here, lovely. So do you know what this is? You did tell me. I did tell you, yes. It's bechamel sauce, this. But it's obviously all vegan. So it's made with cashews, coconut milk, uh, nutritional yeast, all sorts of other stuff really. Yeah. Okay, we'll run out of that. And then the last bit here is the little bit here. We just want a little drizzle of the homemade pesto. Mm -hmm. Here is the end result. And we even have some roasted veggies to go with them. Yum, 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 yum. yum. And we're watching this space thing, Mars. Yo, I just did a client call, so uh, that was good. I haven't been awake for long, actually, but um, yeah, I didn't. I've not been sleeping too well, but I am working on it. I'm going to continue with my daily walks up to the top of the hill as well. So uh, I'm going to. I'm about to go and do that. Hence, why I'm wearing my hoodie. Got to put my headphones on and then my hat. I'll show you actually, I'll show you what I look like when I'm doing my walk. I've been also been playing a game called Zombies Run, which uh, basically it's like an iPhone game. Let me get ready while I'm talking to you. It's basically an iPhone game, but I think it's on Android or whatever as well. But um, the goal of the game is basically like an interactive audio book almost. So you have different missions, uh, like there are seasons of it as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a zombie story. That's my porch, by the way. It's just a zombie story where as you run, the story develops and you pick up items. It actually does this thing as well so that like the audio of the game plays, but you can listen to your music as well. And then when there's like the next part of the mission or whatever, the next bit of audio, it just lowers the music and plays the audio of the mission and then you continue. So uh, yeah, I've done three missions on Zombies Run so far. You can use it while walking. So that's what I've been doing. I'm going to walk up to the top of the hill and back down again. And uh, it, it does pretty well. I, I, it gets my, uh, according to my Fitbit, it gets my heart going into cardio mode, on the way up at least. On the way back, I'm just in regular old fat burn. And uh, yeah, it also allows me to eat more calories of food. So we're gonna do that. Here, here is what I look like. All right, let's do this. I'll try and take better footage today because the footage of the last few days has been crap. But it's hard to take footage while walking, so I don't know.
So this is uh, vegan egg mayo. So this is vegan egg mayo on like Rivita and I'm watching Jay Shea and getting some work done. Well I'm about to eat my Rivita and then I'm going to get some work done. Also just filmed my next bookshelf tour. Somebody has stolen my space. Any ideas who, Biggie? As you can probably tell, my camera is currently on the tripod. The reason for that is that, oh, and the sign's there. The reason for that is because I've been filming booktube videos. So I filmed a review of Partners in Crime by Agatha Christie. I've filmed a review of um, Ruth Ware in A Dark Dark Wood. I've just filmed the end of my haul as well. And obviously we've been doing my vlog today. Just giving myself some more bits and bobs to edit, really. I am still enjoying the employee experience advantage. I'm up to page 96 of about... Well, it's 280, but, you know, a lot of them... It ends with some um, indexes and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm quite... Like I say, I'm quite enjoying this. It's a pretty well-written book. And it's basically all about creating a kind of company culture in which people want to work for you, which is... You know, I mean, I'm self-employed, but I may want to create a company at some point and even if not I think the way I treat myself I need to it's a lot about taking better care of your employees you know and I don't take good care enough of myself if that makes sense which is why I've started doing my walks and actually I mean I quit smoking earlier this year I'm vegan now not for health actually I've been vegetarian for years like I have a vegetarian V tattoo but but um, the health benefits are a nice advantage and so now with doing my walks and stuff as well, I want to lose a bit of weight. For my bedtime book, I have read some more of uh, Truman Capote. What's it called? In Cold Blood. That's it. So I reached page 100 last night. And uh, I'll probably... I'm doing like 20 pages a night as my bedtime book. But actually now I've got into part two. I'm quite getting into it. So I might even... Once I finish reading this, I might even substitute that one back out, you know? Although also I have to read Treasure Island next week. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably finish this book, right? Finish this book this week. Then bring Truman Capote in Cold Blood back through. And try to finish that by the end of the week. And if I don't, it doesn't matter. I'll just read... I forgot where I'm going with this. If I don't, I'll have to move in Cold Blood back into my bedroom. as my bedroom book. And pick up Treasure Island. And yeah, and also now I've posted my Todd and Danes, Todd and Danes Indie Read Along video today, which means I've now announced the next two books I'm going to read for it, which means I can now read those next two books. Yeah, my, my, uh, my schedule's a bit busy at the moment. Speaking of schedules, it's also, it's 20 to 9 at night, and um, I'm still working. I've... I basically got a half day worth of work left to do because I dropped behind a little bit, but Becca's at work. So I'm just going to work until Becca comes home. And then for dinner, we're going to have the uh, the thing I made yesterday, the uh, pesto lasagna. And then I'm going to make some um, strawberry, no, raspberry, not ice cream, raspberry sorbet. I'm going to make some raspberry sorbet. So that'd be good. And on my list, I also want to, I've got a cheesecake to make, some minestrone. It's just, oh God, I'm so tired. But I am enjoying doing my walk, so I'm going to do another walk tomorrow as well. Alright, see you later. That's what it turned out like. Raspberry frozen soy yoghurt. It's time to go walkies. Let's do this. Oh shit, I fell. Oh yeah, I got a new alarm clock to hopefully fix my sleeping pattern. It's extra loud apparently and plugs into the wall rather than using batteries. All right. I think I'm pretty blase about it. I think I'm happy. I mean, these blokes kill him because they're xenophobic bigots who can't see. I've made soup. And the real wall. Vegan homemade minestrone soup. There's more to do though. Here we go, the final result. I made some bread to go with my soup. I'm gonna have some more. Cause it's still hot as well. Very nice. Yum yum. And I'm watching Don't Flop Rap Battles again. 
all fucking eight. Shouts to all my staff in the building. Shouts to Brooksy for putting this event together. Shouts out Bagnell Crew. Hey, Biggie. You gonna come and help me? We're doing my wrap up, mate. It's wrap up time. We've got to put the uh, spare battery on to record first, though. Did you think I was gonna get you some food? Oh, for fuck. Come on, you can have a couple. There you go. That's all you're getting, though. Oh man, I am worn out. I've just been. Uh, I've just filmed my uh, wrap up. So that takes. That took me half an hour. So I've just done that. Uh, I woke up early today. It's Saturday. Becca's still out and about with her parents. So um, I woke up this morning. I've done a bit of work. I want to do a bit more. If I do like 20 minutes more, I should be in the perfect place. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I've also caught up with a lot of editing and my videos. I'm now only four days behind with my comments. Hurrah! And uh, I've got to do my walk in a bit as well. So um, yeah, I'll probably take you with me on that. But other than that, yeah, it's just a Saturday. Hopefully I can take it a bit easy this evening, but we'll, we'll see. And then tomorrow I want to maybe go to the car boot sale. So yes. All right. Oh, and I'm out of squash, so I only have water. I have water and beer. Actually, I might make a peppermint tea in a bit. We'll see. All right. All right. Bye bye. Panorama. Ron's framing, that's what he did after book seven. What are we doing, Rebecca? Walking. Yeah. Next time on Zombies Run. You guys were very, very thankful. All right, leftover soup from yesterday. Becca's having some. How is it, Rebecca? Lovely. Yeah? Did you enjoy your walk? Yeah. yeah. There we go. And we're watching Bindi, Bindi's boot camp. Again. They're looking at poo. Yeah. On that note, I'm going to go and eat. Lemon sorbet. Homemade jam on toast from homemade bread. All right, so here's what I got from the car boot sale. This box set here of Horrible Histories books, two pound, two pound. Becca made tempeh sandwiches, so like fake bacon. Isn't that right? And sausage. Yeah, and we're learning about cults. This is called uh, I don't know, like inside the mind of a criminal or something. I don't know, one of the Netflix crime dramas. And there are children outside. I see you children, oh no. Hello, it's uh, Sunday. So we went to the car boot sale earlier and I bought a bunch of books, which is very fun, always enjoyable. I certainly to obviously put those away. Today is probably gonna be a bit of a productive day with a bit of cooking. Becca needs to do a bit of tidying and cleaning. And she's actually in the other room at the moment, just sort of scheming, making her plans to take over the world. 
with Big E, obviously. So uh, that's what's happening in there. I'm going to give you a quick update on where I am with my reading. So I guess I'll start with In Cold Blood because that's my bedroom book still through there. I'm on page 160 of 320 of that, so I'm about halfway through. Technically, the buddy read was this week, but I know a few people are sort of straggling with it and stuff. So it's better to, like, I am enjoying it, but um, it's better to read it in bite-sized chunks, I think. And uh, last time we spoke, my main book was The Employee Experience Vantage by Jacob Morgan. So I finished reading this book, and uh, it was all right. It was like a 3.5 out of 5. It's a pretty bog-standard business book, you know. But um, if you run a business or whatever, or you just want to know more about making people feel comfortable in a job, this is a pretty good one to read. And uh, I'll be writing a 2,000-word Sparknose version of that soon, so hopefully lots of it stuck in my head. Uh, not too relevant to myself for my own living situation, but it's fine. Then I read Vladimir Nabokov, Lance, which is Penguin Mini Modern number 49. It says, These three dazzling stories of obsession, mania, and an extraterrestrial nightmare feature all the wit, dexterity, and inventiveness that are the hallmarks of Nabokov's genius. Now, Nabokov is obviously a giant of literature in general, and of Russian literature in particular. This is my first time reading any of Nabokov's stuff, and... I mean, it was fine, it was alright, but it, again, it's number 49 in this box set, and there are definitely other ones that are better than it. I will read more Nabokov soon, I'm sure I want to read Lolita. I'm in no rush, you know, and this hasn't particularly put me in more of a rush. It's another one of the, it's like a 3.5, it's, it's nice, it's nice and bite size, but it didn't go particularly deep, and I would have, would have liked to have gone a bit deeper into, into Nabokov's world! And now, finally, I am currently reading Bad Sandwich by Ollie Jacobs. So he's an indie author. Let me show you this. I've got my uh, camera on the tripod, so I can't actually just put it back like this. I've just been filming my haul from the car boot. But, uh, yeah, it's like quite experimental. I did see one reviewer who gave it like a one star and just called it rubbish. And, like, I'm really enjoying it. It is very experimental. There's no way this would not be printed as an indie novel. I mean, like I say, he's a he's a he's an author from High Wycombe, where I live. So I met up with him a bunch of times. And, uh, you know, it is very experimental, but it's, it's pretty enjoyable. It, it reminds me of, like, experimental poetry, stuff like what was being put out by uh, Reality Street Press, only, honestly, a little bit better. It's almost like prose poetry. So, uh, and I can't really tell you what the storyline is about, because it's very loose. But again, it's like stream of consciousness, word association -y madness, basically following what happens when this dude eats the titular bad sandwich. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go and get on with my day now, and I probably won't need to update you again with my reading. I might do this evening if I have chance. But if not, I'm going to film my outro now, and then we'll just have the rest of the day. And then suddenly at the end of this video, current me present here now in the clip you're watching, but still in the past, will be there to say goodbye. Hey Biggs. You alright? Having a clean up day today. Lots of laundry and stuff. Let's go see Becca. How's Becca? Hi. Hello. Oh my god, that does smell good. She's playing some play gink there. We're watching. We're watching uh, the Purge election year, and through here, I have made fried garlic and chili shiitake mushrooms. We're gonna eat this shit. Shiitake mushrooms with vegan A's. Mmm. You cuddling with your teddy, Biggie? Trucks. Vegan mac and cheese, fam. Possibly a bit hot to eat, though. Look who's come to join us. Are you watching Purge, Biggie? Or are you looking at my food? What have you got to say to your YouTube fans? Biggie, people say they only watch my reading vlogs because they know you'll be in it. How does that feel? Look who's come for a sit. Don't do this. Yes. Do this. Oh, is that good? Is it? It's very nice. We can't very nice. Like that. Do much in. Do much in, human. There we go. I got it for you. Get me. Yeah, you want to sniff?
Becca's gone to bed, so I'm I'm watching the LA Beast eat coins. No way. Oh dear. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. I think that worked.